Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Kindly watch until the end of the video and please do like, share and subscribe. Today let's know more about endomorphs. The majority of individuals can be grouped among one of three different body types. Ectomorphs, mesomorphs and endomorphs. Each requires different diet plans and training methods to achieve overall health, fitness goals and successful weight management. Ectomorphs tend to be long and lean with fast metabolism, so gaining weight and muscle can be a challenge. Mesomorphs are naturally muscular and have the ability to lose weight and gain weight easily. In this video, let's know more about endomorphs. Endomorphs generally have smooth round body, medium to large bone structure, small shoulders, shorter limbs and pear shaped. They usually carry their weight in the lower abdomen, hips and thighs rather than evenly distributed throughout the body. Some experts suggest heredity factors might account for as much as 70% of your body mass index. This pattern of fat distribution makes it a bit harder to lose weight. But with a correct training and nutrition program, they can achieve positive results. Metabolic Characteristics From a metabolic perspective, Endomorph body types usually have some degree of carbohydrate and insulin sensitivity. High carb foods are quickly converted to sugar in the bloodstream and are more likely to be stored as fat than being burned for energy. As a result, many endomorphs have a higher body fat percentage, putting them at a greater risk for developing diabetes, infertility, certain forms of cancer, gallbladder conditions, heart disease, hypertension and depression. There is evidence that extra weight around the midsection indicates high stress levels or low ability to handle stress. Try to minimize the effects of stress hormone cortisol by getting enough sleep and avoiding overtraining. People with an endomorph body type may also find it difficult to gain muscle mass because excess body fat triggers the release of hormone estrogen. Increase in estrogen levels tend to decrease the levels of hormones that promote muscle growth such as testosterone. Fortunately, hormone imbalances can be prevented or corrected with a nutrition and fitness program that achieves a reduction in the body fat. Due to those lower metabolisms, regardless of the underlying cause and a surplus of stored body fat, nutritional solutions for the primary endomorphic individuals should focus on techniques to maximize fat loss while still supporting and even building the existing lean muscle mass. To accomplish this, a diet that is both low calorie and high in protein is ideal. Diets containing daily protein of as much as 2.0 grams per kilogram body weight have been shown safe and effective for the supporting existing muscle tissue during times of calorie restriction and weight loss. A low to medium intensity cardio plan will help you to shift fat as well as 1750 calories a day diet that's high in fiber will be helpful. Diet and weight loss. Because endomorphs tend to be carbohydrate and insulin sensitivity, the best nutrition plan for this body type focuses on an even distribution of macronutrients, with carbohydrates coming mostly from the vegetables and smaller amount of unrefined high fiber starches like quinoa and amaranth. Stay away from bread, cereal, the diet focuses on defining the right mix of macronutrients rather than restricting calories. People following the diet should derive 30% of their calories from carbohydrates, 35% from proteins and 35% from fats. They are also encouraged to focus on fiber rich foods, healthy fats and an avoidance of sugar and refined carbohydrates. The endomorph diet is similar to paleo without limitations on legumes, grains and dairy. So altering paleo plants to include more high fiber complex carbohydrates, non-starchy vegetables, healthy fats and limited red meat may be a good starting place. Fitness Goals Endomorphs typically have a difficult time losing fat with diet alone. So a well-rounded fitness program is a must for those with an endomorph body type. Exercise is essential to boost metabolism and must include both weights and cardio training. In general, endomorphs must commit to a lifelong program without overtraining. Building muscles come easily for endomorphs. 
However, a slower metabolism and extra body fat makes it harder for endomorphs to stay lean. To begin, find a few different activities that can be rotated to prevent overtraining or boredom. Cardio Cardio training recommendations for the endomorphs High intensity interval training A person will alternate between periods of very high intensity exercises and low intensity exercises or rest. Those with endomorphic bodies can try doing HIIT sessions 2 or 3 times per week for a maximum of 30 minutes per session. Steady state training These are longer sessions of consistent moderate to lower intensity exercises. Good SST exercises include walking, jogging and swimming. People with an endomorph body type can try doing SST 2 to 3 times per week for 30 to 60 minutes per session. Foods to eat and avoid Generally, people with endomorphic bodies might benefit from a nutrition plan that balances healthful fats, proteins, carbohydrates from fruits, vegetables and unrefined high fiber foods. Some examples of foods that are rich in protein and healthy monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats include poultry such as chicken and turkey, most type of fish especially fatty fish, most non-tropical vegetable cooking oils especially olive oil and avocado oil. Eggs and egg whites, low fat dairy products such as low fat milk, yogurt and cheese, most non-tropical nuts including almonds, hazelnuts and walnuts. Some examples of carbohydrates that are fit for an endomorphic diet includes dried beans and legumes such as kidney beans, lentils and chickpeas, fruits, non-starchy vegetables such as broccoli and cauliflower. Starchy vegetables such as sweet potatoes, corn and carrots, unrefined starchy vegetables such as quinoa and amaranth. Endomorphic bodies are more likely to convert excess calories into fat. For the same reason, people following an endomorph diet may also want to avoid foods that are calorie dense and nutrient poor. Some examples of foods to avoid or limit on endomorph diet includes white bread, white rice, traditional pasta and bagels, candies, chocolates and other sweets, baked cakes, soft drinks, energy drinks and sport drinks, refined cereals such as brain flakes, instant oatmeal and puffed rice. Heavily processed or fried foods, rich dairy products such as whipped cream and ice cream, red meat, alcohol and foods rich in sodium. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys like this video and see you all in next video.